Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to your iPad Pro. So the iPad Pro itself does need to be running iPadOS 16 or newer, so if you want any older version, just upgrade the iPadOS. So on the iPad itself, open up settings, then tap on Bluetooth and just make sure Bluetooth is turned on. And you see here, now discoverable as. If you don't, just turn off Bluetooth and then turn it back on. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to find the Switch Pro Controller and we just need to click and hold this black button. Now, I've personally had issues where I just can't click it because my fingers are too big. So if you have issues where what you need to wait for is green blinking. So if you, if you don't see the green blinking, that means you aren't actually clicking the button, whether you like it or not. So you will need to use a sharp tool, such as a pin or something like that to click it for you. So I'm going to try my finger now. So I'm just going to click and hold. Let's check. Do I see the green LEDs? And I don't. So I feel like a little click, but I'm not actually clicking it properly. So what you do need, if you are struggling, your fingers are too big like mine, just use a pin. So I'm going to click and hold the pin. Boom. And let's just wait until the green shows up. And no green is showing up, which means the controller is dead. So I'm going to make this look perfect. If you are having issues where the green isn't showing up, just plug the uh, controller in. And I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go three, two, one. Give it a couple of seconds. And there we go. So you can see now the green is blinking. So the problem was the switch controller was dead. So if you have the issue, just plug it in. Now we just need to wait for the pro controller to show up in other devices. If it doesn't show up, just go to another menu like Wi-Fi then go back, uh, back into Bluetooth and that will refresh the connection. So we see pro controller, just tap on it, give it a couple of seconds and then the pro controller will be connected. So if you have any issues with the connection, restart the iPad itself. Make sure the controller is plugged in while you are pairing. And of course, you don't need it to be plugged in the Pro Controller all the time. Just unplug it and just like that, you can control uh, the iPad Pro. So just keep in mind, not all games will support the Pro Controller. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, so just give it time and eventually more games will support the Pro Controller. Right now, I do think the support is quite limited. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.